All right, so we're gonna draw this shoe here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're looking at this worksheet here and I'm going to draw the, the, the sketching essentially in perspective. And so what I recommend you do is when you draw, if you're gonna draw something, think of a circle, the top view. All right, so think of the scope and as it goes sideways to perspective, it becomes an ellipse. Something like that. So think of your, your shoe kind of the same thing, right? So first thing I'm gonna do is draw this line and then I'm gonna draw around it. And I'm gonna draw this kind of form, all right? So there's my line and then here's this first shape. And my recommendation is kind of look at the, look at the worksheet and try to copy it the best you can, all right? So um, what it's doing here then on this next sheet is it's kind of showing that the the heel where it lifts up all right because if you look there's actually a little heel on this shoe so it, it lifts up so what we're going to do is we're going to elevate it just kind of go above it a little bit and that's that's what we're going to see here all right so again i am i am going to steal this design as closely as i can here so looking at this drawing it actually does something like let's see here this is a toughie i'm not going to lie all right, so then it goes a little back here. It's actually something like this. And then it goes up. And it does something like this. Okay, again, everybody's is gonna be different, including mine. It's okay if you mess up, you can erase. All right, so just kind of keeping the sketch and loose. Um, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I've got this, this, I've got the bottom shape and I've got this kind of elevated where, where you, the, the insole where that is. Now I'm gonna draw this shape. One of the mistakes I notice a lot of people do is think of your toe kind of juxt out. So if you look here, it's kind of coming forward, out and forward. So I'm gonna draw, draw that also. All right, so it's gonna do something like, like this. So I'm gonna draw this up and then over. So again, copying this the best I can. All right, comes out the back kind of the same way. So in the front and the back, it comes out. And then I'm gonna draw this weird shape here, all right? I'm not sure Skechers is gonna call me anytime soon, but that's probably a good thing. All right, so there's kind of, there, there's a, my good go at it, right? So I've got this, this shape going. Now what I wanna do is try to make this a little bit three-dimensional and, and think of this as a three-dimensional object. So if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna think about where, where it kind of goes up and down. So it comes, starts up and goes over down there. Same thing here, it goes up and this is where it would, would go on the other side of the shoe. All right, same thing here. So what I'm trying to do is give myself kind of a three-dimensional feel to this thing. All right. Cray cray. All right. Then think about where, where's the foot going to go in here. That's what this oval is. And again, I'm really just trying to copy the worksheet the best I can. So we all have the same, working off the same, same place. It's okay. Everybody's is going to look a little different. That's okay. All right, so I've got this done. Now I'm gonna to start to put like, what I'm gonna do here is if you look at it, I'm actually gonna to try to center this. So I'm trying to think about where's the center of this shoe on this axis. And I'm gonna split this apart because this will be where my shoelaces go. So thinking about the front side, where does that look on the back side? All right, so let's see what that's all about. So I'm gonna to try to define, that's why we, we kind of made these these U shapes, upside down U shapes, was to try to find a center of that. And so what I'm essentially gonna do is come up the center of this U shape. And that's gonna be 
the center of my shoe, right? So I kind of need to know where my laces come. So it's gonna come to the side like that. All right. And then let's do the back of this. All right, so now a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so, so far so good. It feels three dimensional. I, I, I know I need some work. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of start to fill in some of these, what we would need to keep the shoe together. So it's got this front area here. It's got the shoelaces here. It's got kind of got this, see where we're going with it. So I'm gonna to start to, to try to fill this in. I can start to play around with, with the tread a little bit. So that's that's where I'm gonna go next. So maybe I'll start on this tread a little bit, make this a little bit more, more shoe-like. Remember things when they're closer to you are bigger and as they get farther, they get away. So maybe try to define this a little bit more as a, as a, as a tread. All right, Smith, you are killing it. I wish. All right. All right, this is going to pull up. Does something like this. Right. I don't think uh, Nike's going to be calling me anytime soon here. All right, sorry, get you back in the camera there. All right, this might be a little too far back here. It feels a little, a little too far back. Clean up this back side a little bit. All right. So I feel like I feel like I'm not doing too too bad of a job. I mean, I don't think I'd buy these shoes, but. Uh, maybe this needs to go back a little bit. And then the last thing I'd probably do is if you look at, at one way of making this feel a little bit real is it look really carefully. There's a very dark shadow underneath in a couple spots, giving it some, some weight. So let's, let's, let's do that also. Gotta be careful you don't get too much of that going. All right, so something like that. And now what I might do is just go in and just really try to firm up and darken these, these outside lines. And so I, I feel like I have these proportions correct. And I might throw in some laces here. These are the cool laces, apparently. So I'm giving it some depth also. Okay. 
I know that's what shoelaces don't really look like, but we get the idea. So uh, anybody know what you need to do if you want to be a shoe designer? I guess. You need to draw shoes and get them in your portfolio, right? Um, it takes a lot of practice how to draw shoes. But what I'm trying to say is that if, if this is a field that you're interested in, it just doesn't happen. You actually can do things and, and work towards that and, and, and in the soft goods industry. Okay, so I'm going to stop this recording.